50-bed expansion to the Kenora Jail has been sitting empty for months. Kenora Rainy River MPP Greg Rickford says staffing challenges are to blame. In the meantime, Kiwetanung MPP saw Mamaqua tour the original facility and he says he's concerned about the welfare of inmates there. Lee Noonan has more. Construction of the expansion began in 2021 and was completed last September, but the 50 new beds are still unoccupied. MPP Greg Rickford says a staffing shortage is to blame, but he's hopeful the situation will be resolved soon. Obviously there are shortages across this province and, and correctional officers are no exception. So we'll get there very soon. Uh, the, 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 um, uh, the sense is, is that we'll be able to be operational in the not too distant future. Rickford says he would like to see the eight-week correctional officer training offered in the riding again. In the meantime, Saul Mamakwa, MPP for Kiwetanung, toured the original facility, which is nearly 100 years old, and brought his concerns about conditions there back to Queen's Park. After what I saw, you know, it's, um, it's as if the people that are there are not human. And uh, Ontario needs to act on its promises to provide more treatment in jails, especially the addictions crisis, as the addiction crisis continues. Speaker, uh, what is Ontario doing to ensure inmates in the northern jails are getting the mental health and the addictions they need help with? I've toured a lot of facilities all over Ontario, and it has been an eye-opener for me to see the investments that we made in the facilities to meet the cultural needs of the Indigenous peoples there, such as the smudging spaces, the sweat lodges, and the teaching lodges. Mr. Speaker, this is important to our government, and we will continue to act. Mamakwa says he also wants investments in preventative measures to keep those struggling with addictions and mental health out of the jail in the first place. Lee Noonan, TBT News.